go where you sure will hear some music grand. Sweetest melody in all the land. Every night beneath the sun and moon, Uncle Joe would play a raggy tune. Things began to hunt. Grant, isn't there anything we can do for Anna? Anna knows that Sean is on his way to the hotel. I gave her as much warning as I could. The rest is up to her. I just hope Robert makes it through the bars in time. You and me both. We should have been here by now, don't you think? Uh, no, who can say? It could take him more than a day to finish his business in Washington. What if he doesn't get here in time? <laughs> if Robert doesn't beat Sean to Anna's hotel room, we can kiss that treasure goodbye. <laughs> You know, Sean, you really caught us at a bad time. I suspected I might. Robert had just gone in the shower before you arrived. You think he knew I was coming? Look, he may be a while. Why don't I just get him to call you later on? Oh, I wouldn't want to bother him. Well, I, I, I'll just tell him that you no, came so in. so I'll just wait until he's finished. You know, Anna, it's a mistake to use the same ruse more than once. That's how Robert found the treasure in the Bay Sea the night of Celia's engagement party, remember? By pretending to make love to his wife in the Quartermain boathouse. I've waited long enough. The train leaves in a few hours. I have lots of things to do before we depart. I'm sure you must. I can't understand what's holding you and Robert up. Take a wild guess, Sean. Look, Anna, I don't have time for your games. I have to get back to the Pullman. Oh, um, well, Robert will be sorry that he missed you. Oh, we can't have that now, can we? What do you mean? I wouldn't want to disappoint my old buddy, so I'll just uh, look in at him. Oh, Sean, no, he is very particular about <laughs> his shower. Look, shout. I heard uh, voices out here, love. Is that real? Ah, oh, Sean. You're here. <laughs> Where'd you expect me to be? Well, I, I just meant that I thought you were going to spend the entire afternoon in that shower. I got better things to do. So I gather. All hmm. right. And what about you? To what do I owe this obnoxious intrusion? I just wanted to remind you both about the hat contest at the Pullman. Oh, we haven't forgotten, have we, darling? No, it's not top of my list for ways to spend the afternoon there. Hmm. Oh. I've <laughs> got no idea how happy I am to hear you say that. Look, you know how much I love a good competition, but... Anna and I are going to have to pass on this one. We're having a little competition of our own. <laughs> I'm way ahead already. <laughs> well, that's right, you are. Yeah. Well, I hope you understand. Oh, of course. I'd probably do the same thing if I were in your position. Mm -hmm. I trust you're not planning on missing the train. Wouldn't miss it for the world. Not even for an afternoon alone in a hotel room? Not even for that. Oh. No, I'm flattered. I think I can promise you a trip you'll never forget. We're expecting no less. Then I'll leave you two alone. Oh, and uh, do try to make sure it doesn't go into overtime, all right? Because oh. the uh, train won't wait. We'll, we'll be there. Touche. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't believe it. When you walked out of there, how did you get in there? <laughs> well, I've never seen Donnelly caught quite so unaware. Did you see the expression on his face? I tell you, it served him right for barging in here like that, really. Well, I'll bet he doesn't uh, try that again in a hurry. We make a pretty good team, you know. Why not? We had a good teacher. Yes, and it's only fitting that we should turn his training back on him. Mm. Certainly ironic. You know, Grant's DVX training came in very handy today. He uh, managed to smuggle some of your clothes in here. I hope they fit. How did he slip past Donnelly's man in the hall? Well, we, uh, I, I called oh, yeah. the hotel manager, and I said that there was this rather horrible man lurking outside my room. And before long, the security had come along and whisked him off, and uh, Grant managed to come in here unsaid. Good work. Oh, it's easy. Let's not kid ourselves. It's going to get any easier. We haven't beaten Donnelly yet. Oh, what do we do now, then? Assemble the team. I want to tell them why I'm what I learned in Washington. Yeah. Give them an idea of what we're up against. Okay. Which is what? If I'm right, Donnelly's formed a crack team of his own. And we're gonna have to pull up every stop out of the book. And get him and get the treasure. Uh. Now, ready for the hat contest. Oh.
Bring on the headgear, huh? Brian, you're judge. What? Yeah. Oh, I knew I should have entered. He wouldn't dare give the first prize to anyone but his wife. <laughs> uh, well, Derek, I'll tell you what. I'll be, on one condition, I'll be a judge if my wife is sitting right by my side. Well, <laughs> there's a diplomatic answer if ever I heard one. Oh, Mayor. Uh, what are you going to say to the mayor and his wife if you're foolish enough not to choose our hat? Uh, is it too late to find yourself another judge? Uh, no one else would do it, Brian. I think I understand why. Amanda, is uh, your narration ready? Uh, I've decided to improvise the whole thing. I thought if we did the contest, a more, more spontaneous feeling. Oh, it'll get real spontaneous if you insult someone's hat. Uh, really? For once, I'm glad I'm not on camera. Oh, no, no, this is live, remember? I'm counting on you to bail us out if anything goes wrong. No problem. You see, I have a whole speech prepared as to how far and how crazy type of hats people will wear on the head to get attention. Yeah. <laughs> Why don't we all go outside and rehearse? I have a feeling we I need, need it. Mike. Judge. Oh, right. I'm right behind Judge, if I had to. Thank you, Dad. Hello, man. Still no sign of Donald. I don't like it. He's been gone too long. Listen, I'm going to try to get a hold of Anna. If anything's wrong, I can be at the hotel in about 10 minutes. Oh, I'm glad to see everybody's making themselves at home. <laughs> well, some host you are. I mean, the party starts hopping and you're not even, even around. Well, I had some business to attend to. You got your interview. Why were you looking for me? Uh, well, I wasn't, actually. Not me, anyway. Some, some of your guests were. Who? Me. Oh, I see. Sean, I have some business I'd like to discuss with you. The uh, hospital ship. Oh, that's a coincidence. I wanted to speak to you about the very same thing. Any problems? No, just routine. I'll be around. Good. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> when I was 16. Something's happened to Anna. We don't know that. Anna, I gotta get to the phone and try to call her. Maybe Robert returns. There's nothing we can do now except play along and see what happens. I'm gonna find out what Sean wants. Right. I'm gonna try to call Anna. All right, we'll meet later now. Be on your toes and stay prepared for anything. Right.